Hey everybody, it's Becky Demetrio here at Amanda Webster. Um, I just wanted to say hello and thank you for joining us, whether it's on playback or live. Um, we love coming to you with some of this information and some little trade secrets that we can provide to you that hopefully help you with your own design goals at home. Uh, so today we're doing a rug rundown and first I want to give a little disclaimer that I am not a rug manufacturer or necessarily a rug expert but I've definitely learned an awful lot so hopefully what I know can be shared with you and it will help you in some way. Uh, so today we're going to start by looking at what makes rugs kind of different and the different options you have and why maybe price points might be different and what you can look for to meet your goals at your house because they're all going to be different depending on what you're doing. These are uh, more like custom rugs. Now it doesn't necessarily mean every detail is customized, but they were handmade, um, which I will show you what that means. You can see how flexible this is. These are hand knotted rugs. So what you do is you look at the back and you can see all of these little knots. So they actually mark it out by the square inch. So a really fine rug might be over 100 knots per square inch. And that literally means someone is sitting there hand tying knots like for weeks, months, <laughs> possibly years. So it is definitely um, a really long detailed process, very labor intensive. I mean, to think that each square inch of this rug and you think it might be 20 by 20 or 15 by 18 um, has that many knots in it, it's kind of insane. So there is one reason for a big price difference. All of these are hand knotted rugs. So that really kind of put them in a category of fine rugs. Now beyond that, they can still be different. So this one, for instance, is wool and silk. We've got a cut pile, so what that means is when they pull the loops through, they cut it all off, so it's, it sticks up and is soft. Um, this is the wool. You can see it kind of has a flatter look to it. Mm -hmm. And then you can see that this is a raised silk. We left it a little bit higher, and it's got a lot of sheen to it. And I wish there was a feel button for you because <laughs> silk has the most amazing feeling. It's just... Yeah, you want to sink into the softness. So this is another type of rug that is also hand knotted, but you can see that there's two different types of um, pile here. And the ground is kind of called the pile. So just so you know what you're talking about here. This is a loop pile. You can see when they pull the wool through, this is the wool on this one, when they pull, the, pull it through, they don't cut it off. So it's not a cut pile, it's a loop. They leave it as a loop. So it gives it a totally different look and texture. This is actually not a silk. It's made to look like a silk, but in this case, it is a viscose. So viscose gives you the look of silk in many ways. It feels good, it's soft, and it has that little bit of sheen to it, but it is not a natural fiber and it will wear differently. It doesn't clean necessarily as easily and it will crush over time. So you have to think about where you might be using it. It may not be the appropriate choice in a high traffic area where you're gonna get a lot of um, foot traffic where it will kind of mat it down over time. So just consider that when you see the look and you love it, just think about that and make sure you consider it. This is another one that does a little combination of loop and cut pile, but you can see how much smaller the areas are and it just gives it a totally different look and feel. And the overall pattern is just um, a little more varied. So you can go through any range of patterns and styles, whether it's traditional or organic or um, geometric. So. You can get what you want, but this is kind of the higher price point when you get a hand knotted, more custom rug um, in the market. And again, the silk is going to be the most expensive. So if you do all silk, you're really getting up there. <laughs> Here's another consideration. You can do, um, this rug for instance is all wool. So wool is a very good natural fiber and it definitely um, will wear well and things like that in your home. This brings the price point down. You can see this kind of harder grid. It's not as flexible as the hand knotted rugs. So they get this grid and this one, for instance, is hand tufted. So they use that grid to kind of poke the fibers through and pull them through the other side. So they get, um, I, I wanna say it's more like something you would have done like needlework at home when you have a little thread. That's this on a bigger scale. You've got this big pattern, they've got this big grid they're working off of. So it's a little more consistent, which is an upside. Um, it also brings the price point down. And, you know, most people aren't lifting up their rugs and flopping them around. So to get in the price point of a wool rug with maybe a custom pattern or the look and feel that you want, this is a great way to do it. All right, moving on to something that's very popular in my house right now with two little boys. 
These are indoor outdoor rugs. Um, there are all different styles, there are all different textures, and there are all different colors. Um, most of them are made of polypropylene, so this is a man-made fiber that repels stains, repels water, and is UV resistant. So it really, it can be used outdoors, but more and more we're seeing the use of it inside in different areas, whether it's mud rooms, playrooms, kids rooms, dining rooms. Um, it's definitely something that is becoming more and more popular especially with young families. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to show you the textures can really be different. This one's more like a flat weave and it's actually quite soft. This one is a little bit stiffer. And again, I wish there was a feel button for you right now, but it's a little bit stiffer to the touch. But um, one thing I've learned from our rug expert over the years um, from Oasis Rug and Ohm here in Jacksonville is that your fingers have more sensitive receptors. So when you are um, considering rugs, put it on the floor and walk on it because it feels different to your foot than it does to your hand. Sometimes your hand will think that something feels kind of scratchy or kind of stiff, but your foot will think that it feels good. So think about how you're using it and you're not necessarily walking on your hands all day. Um, I just wanted to show you too, these indoor outdoor rugs, you get the different kind of, you can do a cut pile where it still feels very soft and you can also do a kind of loop pile. So. Um, in the indoor-outdoor category, there's all different textures and um, feeling to it. It doesn't have to be a stiff, scratchy canvas rug. They really can feel good and feel soft. And I know because I have a cut pile polypropylene rug in my house right now because <laughs> my two little boys um, would destroy anything else. So uh, that's what I'm personally using. This is another category. This is kind of um, natural fiber. So jute and sisal, maybe hemp. These are kind of woven, you get a really natural look. You can see that this is maybe what everyone thinks of when they think of a sisal rug. It's really stiff, it is pretty scratchy, and it's a little bit harder, but it's very thin, um, and it's really great for certain applications in certain places. Um, but you can see there's all different kinds. This one even mixes with wool, so it feels a lot better. And like this one as well, you can get different patterns kind of mixed in. So if you want a really natural look, uh, this is definitely one way to bring the outdoors in and get kind of that feel for yourself. Another thing to consider, especially in larger spaces, uh, is doing a carpet that you can cut down into a rug. So these are all options. You can see that there, I mean, there's no shortage of rug options out there on the market. Um, so if you have a weird shaped room and you need to purchase something like a you know, a 15 by 18 or a 20 by 20, something strange that is a little bit harder to get. Um, you can definitely consider getting a rug, or I'm sorry, a carpet, and then having it cut down to a certain size for yourself. So local workrooms would do it. And if you go to a, a you know a carpet store, they can often even bind it uh, for you. And you can see they might offer different binding edges. These are surged edges that kind of roll underneath. This one's probably hand surged. And most places offer, also offer uh, machine surged edges so just something to keep in mind if you have that weird angled fireplace and you're feeling like you don't know how to get a rug in there consider getting it to cover your entire room and then kind of cut off that corner with a local workroom so you have the space covered with a rug like you want um, without losing all those feet and inches over by the fireplace these are just some other fun textures we wanted to show you so this is a super fluffy shag rug i mean it looks like <laughs> looks like a new pet for your home so that's really fun and comfortable but if your kids are into cheetos and doritos probably not your choice uh, this is a cotton rag rug you know we were able to customize the colors on this one so there's a lot of options out there on the market it's soft to the touch cotton is going to be uh, less pricey than wool or linen and definitely less than silk so it's a really nice soft option and it's still a natural fiber so you get a lot of good wear out of these and the way that it's woven is very flat so you don't have that same tufting it's just kind of a different look and um, really coastal and casual this is a wool flat weave this is another kind of great price point to get a wool rug um, it is a little bit stiffer uh, i would say a little bit scratchier because those wool fibers when they are matted down and kind of stick up and poke up it has a little bit of a different feel to it than a soft pile this is crazy this is uh, <laughs> this is kind of a felted wool almost like little dreadlocks you can see how much they stick up there, but they just are kind of tufted the same way. These little guys are pulled through the back and then cut off on the top at different levels to give it tons of different texture. This little guy is kind of a braided wool, so you can see just sometimes with the same materials that you can get totally different looks. These are all wool and they look totally different from each other. This is just a gorgeous rug. 
Um, this is a hide, so this is actually leather hide woven together, had been dyed different colors and, um, or can be dyed different colors as well, and um, woven together. So just another totally different type of rug option for you. These have a really organic feel. It brings the outdoors in and has um, a really great look. So just something else to consider. There's so much out there. You don't need to be stuck with any one thing, but really consider your options when you're shopping and talk to your store or your manufacturer about how to clean it, how it will wear, because I think sometimes we all get stuck on how something looks, but don't forget to think about function first, because if it wears out on you in you know six months or it's still shedding three years down the road, that might be something that um, makes you not so happy about your purchase. So think about all those things, but um, have fun. Rugs are awesome. They're a great way to bring in color. You can see it's a great way to bring in tons of texture. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed our rug rundown. If you have any questions, just post and we'll try to get back to you. Thanks.